this is a quick freeform uh, tutorial video to show how you can capture textures uh, from the surface of a model and then convert those into raster images and then reapply them to other models. Um, so first of all, I'm going to show there are two different methods you can do it. You can do it to a flat plane or to a surface. So for a flat plane, you see here that I have this part. Um, what I'm going to do is just look at it from the top, create a plane, and then create a plane that's touching the clay, right? So this plane is uh, contacting that. Uh, clay. Now, if I come in and I just create some geometry, I'm just going to, if I just use the tug tool and uh, create just random geometry here, you know, if I created this texture, I can come over to this tool inside of Detail Clay Height Map. So with height map, I can say, here's a plane, and it will automatically grab the highest point from that plane and graph it to a grayscale image. Or I can actually come in here and change it from automatic to manual and extract the, the max distance that it's going to look to create that image. So I'm going to use automatic right now. Oops. and then hit generate. So with generate, you'll see that this is what it does. You can rotate it. I can even come in here if I wanted to uh, crop that image down to a smaller size and then hit save. And then I, the best place is just to save it into your patterns that you already have, because this is the default location that the software opens when, it, um, when you hit a brush. So if I go ahead and save that as a height map, I can now just come over to my regular uh, tool and grab this height map right there. So now if I just wanted to apply that to the other side here, I could um, change the fall off for one, make sure, and then set that for whatever distance that I want to, and it will offset. You can just use this as a, a pattern type tool you can go around and create it now the other one is to create a surface and it will do positive and negative of that surface right so if we do something like the cylinder um, I'm gonna go ahead and create this surface first so I'll click there There. So now I'm going to create a surface patch. Again, this is a freeform plus uh, piece of functionality here. If I come over and create a surface patch by clicking here. So if I come over here and create a surface patch, I can create one that's based off of just the boundaries, like that. Or I can create one that's already snapped to the clay. So if I go ahead and create one that's snapped to the clay as a cylinder ahead of time, I, can, I could then now duplicate my object and we'll do the same thing we did before, just use a the tug tool there. And let's not overlap outside of the, it, it is really helpful. You can obviously go outside, but it's not gonna capture that whole, the whole image if you go outside of the patch that you drew. Um, so now if I go over to the height map tool, I'm going to click surface this time. So now it's going to like essentially unwrap that and flatten it down. I go to automatic again, hit generate. And then there's my thing and I can hit. 
save this. And then another trick is I put zeros in front of it. That way it'll show up at the beginning of my patterns. If this is one that I want to use all the time, I'll put zeros in front of it. And now if I, again, toggle back over, switch to my new texture that we just created. So which, which one is that? It's this one right there. So now I can just apply it to a flat surface. So that is the height map tool in Freeform.